Well, it's amazing to be here again on this on this bike. It's 26 years, our 25th anniversary since we started the Festival of Speed. And this was the very first machine to go up the hill. So when we had the idea, we thought we'd better do a little unofficial test and see how it all worked. And um, I got this bike out, Ducati 888 SP4, uh, which was, uh, well, it wasn't that new, but quite new at the time. Nearly 30 years old, this bike now, amazingly. And um, I drove it up the hill. It was a blast. And then, of course, we had the bike out again for the official uh, uh, launch day that we held a little bit later on. And then, of course, the event happened itself in June. So October 1992, uh, this bike sat here at this very, very place and uh, was the very, very first machine up the Goodwood Festival Speed Hill. If this was the first machine, the second was the famous Dennis Jenkinson uh, riding uh, one of his special bikes, uh, one of his specials up the hill and Jenks then wrote a fabulous piece for us on what it was like to ride it and the whole experience, uh, which we've, uh, we've still got in our archive. And then of course John Surtees, Big John himself, uh, rode a motorcycle up here as well on, our, on that first press day we had before the very, very first event when we had a, what we felt was an unbelievable selection of cars and motorcycles uh, here at Good. And of course now looking at it, it's absolutely tiny and I've got a wonderful picture which shows all those motorcycles and cars here on that day and it's hard to believe really just how small it was then and how, how quickly it expanded into what we've got today which is going on behind me right now and is pretty much the biggest greenfield site build of any event in the world. The best way to experience the Goodwood Hill is definitely on a motorcycle. Um, it's not very daunting uh, in a car, it's very exciting and Malcolm was really the only sort of really tricky bit which you've got to get right and of course that's where everyone comes flying off but the wall and areas like that which look quite scary in a car obviously you don't feel you're going to get mashed to pieces uh, against the flint wall. You go through the first corner hit that pretty quickly, crossroads, up the straight, which of course isn't a straight, wiggling around quite a lot, under the bridge, suddenly come to Malcolm, very blind, a left-hander, up the hill, around the wall, all very dark, uh, through those trees, all much more daunting, up past Carney's seat and then through the big fast left-hander at the top. So it's just a much more intense experience uh, on a motorcycle than a car. And I have to say that moment I rode it that very first day, um, I knew we had something special. I knew it was going to be a great piece of road. And of course, that's been one of the great, if you like, one of the, one of the great benefits of the event in many ways for us is that people love this bit of road. The drivers and riders love riding it. They love trying to get quicker. And it is a super competitive track. 